Forward Thinking is sponsored by the Maine Education Association. Well, students in one Augusta classroom are taking their STEM skills to the next level. In this week's Forward Thinking, we head to Coney High School, where they are testing a vehicle that runs on air. You're going to get six wheels. Six wheels. And then six of these little things. In this class at Coney High School, there are never any textbooks. On this day, there's only string, glue guns, straws, tape, balloons, and pasta? If you guys need to trade some of your stuff out for fresh stuff, that would be just fine. Students are taking all the items and building a vehicle that can actually run on the air that rushes out of the balloon. So you have to make it go a certain amount of centimeters to like be other people in the class. And uh, whoever has the highest score gets like a better grade. It's just another day of discovery, collaboration, and fun in teacher Steve Scoville's STEM class. The thing about this class is they're not teaching you what to do. He kind of throws you in there and gives you a set of things like learn. Go ahead, teach yourself for a little bit. That's really interesting because none of the other classes do it like that. After building the vehicles, it was time to test them and compete. After blowing up the balloons, the vehicles were off to the races. Some had success, some oh. did not. Oh. Do I get oh. negative? If I get negative, is that good? No matter how their vehicles fared in the hallway, though, the bottom line is all 21 students are engaged from start to finish. I think my favorite part is the fact that it's hands-on from out like all the other classes. Normally it's like uh, we're told, we're taught stuff and then we just have to go do tests and here it's more we do projects. The class has been around for 10 years and has helped dozens of students look down the road. Obviously, the STEM fields are tremendously important for uh, future employment. But for some of the students, the class is about a lot more than training for a future job. Some kids who maybe have not had experience with academic success, with book work, um, have the opportunity to experience success here where they've, they've seen some uh, some physical manifestation of their ideas actually accomplish what they wanted to accomplish. Uh, and that's, that's really rewarding. And by the way, the winning car in the competition went 10 meters. It really is amazing when you see students actually wanting to learn and having fun in the process. I mean, they said they can't wait to go to that class. And again, they're engaged the whole time. And uh, even, even, you know, building stuff like a balloon car Right. I mean, right? I mean, you're like, oh, that sounds kind of silly, but they had so much fun doing it, and they were engaged the whole time. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well